I try to approach them from where they are rather than try to get them to where I am. I try to make it relevant to their own lives, um, particularly with a class like theater history, which can be just the word history immediately makes you feel like, oh, it's going to be old and dusty and boring. And over the last couple of years, I've really changed the course every semester based on that very first day when I asked them, so what do you love about theater? What kinds of things are you into? I always try to engage them from where they are, what they're interested in, what they want to talk about. What I love to hear is when they say, thank you for introducing me to that, because then they're going to go and they're going to look into these things. So I'm just planting these little seeds. I just want them to be big theater nerds like myself. <laughs> I love not knowing what I'm going to walk into every day. It's really like the highest form of improv because they're going to be different, I'm going to be different, and the exchange of energy, it's like a theatrical experience. So you give to me, I give to you, and then we'll see where this goes. There's just an energy that they have. I think it's because it's centered around music, the passion they have for music and dance. It brings out a side of you. This is more about your heart and your emotions. They want to explore what it is to be a person, a human being, an artist. And that's, that's pretty rare, actually.